Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James, and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. All right, let's get right to it. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law on Disney Plus, Episode 2. Did it live up to episode one? I would say yes, it did. I really enjoyed this second episode. Now, the first episode in this series was a normal amount of rage. It came in at around 30 minutes, and I think it did a really nice job of, of, of the setup for the She-Hulk character. So Jennifer Maslany is playing, playing Jennifer Walters. She is the cousin of Bruce Banner, who is the Hulk in the MCU. And we see how she gets her powers, how she gets how she becomes She-Hulk. We know that she's an attorney. Her life gets complicated real quickly. So I really enjoyed episode one. If you have not checked out episode one of She-Hulk Attorney at Law, I definitely recommend checking that episode out. It comes in at around 30 minutes. Nice, quick watch. This episode two is Superhuman Law. And I was actually surprised to see that this episode comes in even shorter. It's like 23 minutes. So it's about 23 minutes and then you get about five, six minutes or so of in credit stuff and the, and the credits uh, portion of it after the episode. But I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the brevity of these episodes. You know, something that you can just sort of take as a snack doesn't take a, a lot of your time. You, you can, you know, get up early in the morning and watch it and be done and enjoy it. And that's exactly what I did early this morning. This episode dropped, I believe, in the wee hours of the morning. And I was able to catch it and watch it in short order and really enjoyed it. This episode takes up right at the end of episode one. So where episode one left off, which I will not spoil, I'll only say that it takes place in a courtroom. There's a little bit of super powered activity going on. Jennifer Walters becomes She-Hulk and she stops this super powered influencer named Titania. So I'll just leave it at that. Episode two picks up right where that left off and Jennifer Walters' life as a result of that action gets complicated very, very quickly. As a result, she gets into complications with her job as an as a assistant DA. She eventually has to go and get another job. And this new job that she gets and that she's offered is a very interesting job because she is going to be in charge of the superhuman division of the of this side of the legal firm. And she's going to be protecting folks with superhuman powers. So her first client that she's assigned is, of course, Tim Roth's Abomination. And so you see, we've seen Tim Roth and Abomination in the trailer, so that's not too much of a spoiler. This is where he gets introduced in the series, and it's a very interesting story. And I love, one thing I love about this series so far is the fact that Jennifer Walters, She-Hulk, is an attorney. So you get all of that attorney and lawyer stuff, you know, mixed into all the superhero action. And you really get to see Jennifer Walters, the lawyer, as well as her playing She-Hulk and her being She-Hulk as a lawyer. And how they mix all that together and it just really creates fascinating and an interesting uh, dynamic. And I think it's going to set up for some really interesting stories. But I love how they, how they mix in the legal aspects of the things that she's dealing with and you know i'm looking forward to seeing more of that but i really enjoyed this episode you get to see tim roth the abomination you get to see jennifer walter's family and that dynamic with her parents and i believe her brother and, and other members of her family and you also get to see bruce banner mark ruffalo for a brief moment for one scene and we get to know a little bit more about perhaps the future uh, goings on for future Hulk stories. So we get a little tease of future Hulk stories in this episode. So definitely recommend checking that out. I don't want to spoil it, but I really enjoyed episode two. It moved really quickly. It was a very short and brief watch at around 23 minutes, which I actually appreciated. And I am very much looking forward to seeing what episode three has in store in what I believe is a nine episode series. So, so far, two for two for She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Episode one was great. Episode two, equally great. Looking forward to more. So let me know in the comments section if you've seen She-Hulk Attorney at Law episodes one or two. Let me know what you think about it so far and let me know 
what you think is coming for us in episode three. Let me know all that in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.